<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are working on the Honda Civic Type R once again. This car is getting set up for track. Last time when we were here, and it got 33,000 views, but we were trying to make the shifter more robust for the track. So a few things have happened to this car so far. Let Eddie explain what has gone down. Hello everyone. All right, just say what. <laughs> <laughs> we have done an oil cooler by United Speed Racing up in the front. You can't really see it because it's kind of hidden behind the bumper. We've done an intercooler by PRL Motorsports. We did an eBay grill. Because not enough air from the factory grill gets into the radiator, I had some beautiful gyro discs installed on the car because I'm too lazy. And then I had G-Lock pads make me some brake pads. And that is it. Oh, and a PRL stage one intake, which consists of a filter and a tube. So it's not like a cold air or anything like that. So tonight, what are we doing? Tonight, we're gonna attempt to Replace these brake pads, which should be very simple. We're going to be installing a new clutch master cylinder with the delay valve removed and a stainless line. Oh, <laughs> careful. You do this so much less um, deliciously than Powan. Powan removes and takes the way like a talented porn star strokes cock. Pound did this like with like two flicks of a switch. No, like no, like like Tom's got a point. Like, Still attached that. I know. Comes off. You gotta push you gotta away. Ah. Here we go. All right, we are out in three. All right. Two. Is there no fluid? No, no, it's just gonna go oh, okay. slowly. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty easy to tell which one's which. The new one has carbon fiber, and we're bashing it with a hammer. In. It's in? Yep. Sweet. Woo. All right, so you just had to install that one install part. Install this one. And that's basically just a clip to make sure it doesn't go anywhere? Yep. And this goes over this. I've done this before. Is that a new gasket? This is a new gasket. The pain in the ass with this is, is there's always people like, oh, you should put fluid in it and pre-bleed it and this and that. Now, I'm not gonna do that because I'm too lazy. So we're just gonna have to bleed all the air out of it. It's gonna take fucking forever, but I'm a fucking man about it, so. All right. I guess, guess we're both burnt out. Cause something isn't right, I know. Not a single one can tell me what went wrong. Seize the day, take the clutch master cylinder which no longer has a clutch delay valve so that way there's gonna be a little more response when you get off that clutch pedal and we're bleeding the clutch on the Civic Type R what's really important is when you're going to bleed these systems remember to put fluid in it and I know that sounds like of course we would but also don't forget that the minimum level on the brake fluid reservoir is also for your clutch fluid and that it's a baffled container that reservoir has a baffle in it so yeah it may be at the minimum level for the brake side but if it's not on that minimum level for the clutch side, you're just pulling air. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you've got fluid poured up so it fills up the other half of that reservoir above that valve, which is where the clutch master cylinder is pulling fluid from. That's gonna do 
it for this episode with the Honda Civic Type R. Come back for plenty more. We're gonna have this on track early May, actually probably April. So we're gonna see how this all holds up. Big thank you to Ren Scott and all of the patrons on my Patreon. Go ahead and check the link below if you choose to do so. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to respect the drive. Oh, and I'm sure Eddie will be happy to answer your questions in the comments below. See you next time.